Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 27 of the Dark Cloud 2 Platinum walkthrough. In this episode, we're getting every non-missable photo in Chapter 5. So we're in Heimrata right now. We're just going to go on down to the springs right here and just snap a photo of the water. That is one photo. Now you're also going to want to grab a photo of Mount Gundor. Okay, so now we're also going to pick up a photo of the generator. And we're also going to snap a photo of the large crane and the power arm. Alrighty, so that's all of the photos here. Now we're just going to go on to the future. Alright, so take the warp gate here to jump gate north. And we are going on over to the weapon shop right here. Alright, so we're just going to go inside the weapon shop. Alright, so you just want to snap a photo of the hammer behind this guy right here. Alright, you're also going to want to grab a photo of the elevator. Next, we're going to the item shop. Alright, so you want to get the pattern rug and the sulfur colored juice. Alright, so we're on the second floor of the workshop now. We're just going to go on over to G Parts, which is the only thing on this floor, actually. Alright, so once you're in here, you're going to want to take a picture of the electric sesame, the display robo, the decorative lights, uh, the drum can right here. You're going to want to grab a photo of the work crane right here above Hasnos. You're also going to want to snap a photo of the transmission device right here. Alright, so on the third floor we're going to want to go into the operations room. Alrighty, so you only want to get a picture of a computer and a picture of the propeller. Alright, so now we just need to go and board Pasnos. Alright, so once you're on Pasnos, you're just going to want to grab a photo of the Pasnos pattern right here. That's all of the normal photos, now we're just going to go and pick up all the scoops. Alright, so coming to the floor, Fire Dragon, you're going to want to find a bomber head, bring its HP down as low as you possibly can. So now we pretty much need to bait this thing into making its head go extremely big and it'll then blow up. You then need to get a photo of that absolutely perfectly at the exact perfect time or you will not get the scoop. This is an incredibly annoying picture to get. It's as bad as the Earth Digger photo. So we got it right there, luckily. So you kind of need to line it up like that properly. It's a pain, but you will get it eventually. Alright, so this next trophy is like 90,000 times easier. So go into the floor, a burning undead. So I got a little unlucky with this rock spawn. It's kind of far away from the bone lord that I could find. 
Uh, so we're just going to carry this on over to this room right here. So the Bone Lord's like right here against the wall to the right. So all you got to do is pick up a rock on the floor, find a Bone Lord, throw it at him, let him get up, he'll be dizzy. You just take a photo of him and that's it. You got the scoop. Alright, so you're going to want to go into the Mount Gundor mouth. This is the boss room. And all you want to do is grab a photo of the lava road, the road that we spread with the horn. And you're going to want to grab a photo of the fallen battleship. Alright, so next up you're going to want to come into Heimrata between midnight and 4 a.m. in game. And you're going to want to go down to the hot springs. So just make sure it's between 12 and midnight. By the time I get over here, it'll be midnight. Uh, Alright, so in Heimrata, just make sure it's between midnight and 4 a.m. And the hot spring spirit's right here next to that pointy rock. Alright, so for the last photo, you're just going to want to come to the future. And you're just going to want to snag a photo of Pasnos. And that's it. That's every photo in Chapter 5. So we're going to start our chest guide now. Alright, so we're going to get all the treasure in the future in the Gundarado workshop. So, this is a pain. It takes a very long time. Make sure you do this on Monica. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but Monica runs a little bit faster than Max, so you're just going to want to do this on her. Um, so you literally just need to check every square inch of every single floor, and you'll find all the chests. So we got a Witch Parfait right here. They have chests hidden in these corners too, so you literally need to check absolutely everywhere. It's a pain. This is probably the worst chest run in the game. But after it's done, it's fine. You only have to do it one time, so it's not a big deal. But it's literally like 10 or 15 minutes of just running laps around this place. Alright, so we got this guy right here. Potato pie. Alright, we're gonna check up here. No, there's not a chest in this place. There's one shop that has a chest right in front of the store. If you think you're being too thorough, trust me, you're not. Because they're really out of the way in such a big area. There aren't really any against the fences though, so you should be fine just sticking to the outer edge here. Alrighty. Almost done lap one. Here's a chest, which parfait. Here's another one, Fruit of Eden. Here's another one, <laughs> Potato Pie, hidden in this random corner. That is, takes quite a while to get to. I don't love complaining, and I try to find the good in a lot of things, but I gotta say, I just really do not like this chest run. It takes a very long time. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Alright, so we should be done on this first floor, so now we're gonna run all the way over here and hop on the um, transmitter to go to the north side of this ring because it's faster, and we're gonna then take the elevator up. Jump gate north. Alright, and the elevator's over here. So 
So this is the one we're going to take to just go up. Alright, on the second floor now. The second and third floor, are they have a little less surface area to cover, but you have to backtrack as well a little bit. So it's not really much faster, but it is a little bit, so it's not as bad. Check every corner. Every single corner. There's one over there. Alright, we got our potato pie. I did see that other chest down at the end here. Alright, we got a fruit of Eden. That'll just teleport us to Pasno, so it's not really much faster. So it's better to just kind of do this run. Alright, we have this chest on the other side of the elevator. Fruit of Eden. There's no chest for some reason. Um, it, it's probably on the third floor then. If it's not, then I think something happened to it. Because I do know that there's some kind of glitch with the chests in this game. There's supposed to be like a sapphire in front of one of the shops or something like that. Almost done. Almost done the second floor, and then we just have the third floor. And then, luckily enough, getting out of here is quick. Okay, so there's no chests over there. We just got this guy right here. Cool, Fruit of Eden. Alright. On our way back. Again. <laughs> we got the elevator right here. So we'll take this up to the third floor. Okay, so we're gonna do the run over to the end here. Nothing here. There's a treasure chest up over here. We haven't gotten a single gemstone yet. Which parfait? chest up over there that we can see. This bad boy right here. Fruit of Eden. Nice. Alright. Yeah, so the chest that um, is in front of one of the stores is definitely glitched. It's not here.
All right, well, we're almost done this last run. Last half of the last floor. We got one chest over there. Uh, potato pie. So that potato pie is the last one, actually. So that's all there is for this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope it helped. Have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.